Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. If you're new to my channel and you do not know who I am, my name is Gade Philip or Gade for short. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the ting. Now, when I first saw this clip, I was like, whoa, like what the hell is going on? And obviously, being someone that's been in wild situations on social media already, I try my best not to make judgment <laughs> before the story actually comes out and explains Wagwan with the Wagwan. A video of Lady Leisha, and for those of you that do not know who Lady Leisha is, she's a female rapper, a very popular female rapper in the UK that has gone on to do presenting, hosting, brand campaigns. She also currently has her own show, Pimp My Ride. She's now the host of Pimp My Ride 2022. And she has songs with Nicki Minaj. She's done a list of things. And a video was posted on social media of police officers, a police van, and what happened to be Lady Leisha being detained. And you can hear her screaming, free me, free me. Like, I think in that moment, I don't think she kind of took... By, by those comments, I don't think she kind of took the arrest seriously. Now, the article that came out about this arrest read, a Metropolitan Police spokesman said... Police were called at 5.08 on Saturday, the 22nd, to Knott's Green Mews E10 following report of a fight at a location. Two women, both aged 27, were taken to hospital. They have since been discharged. A 34-year-old woman was arrested on suspicion of causing actual bodily harm. Witnesses said neighbours were woken up by a screaming match between Lady Leisha and two other women. Cops said a 27-year-old woman was found with injuries but did not need hospital treatment. One of the girls she'd been arguing with was in a car and Lady Leisha jumped into the car and tried to get her out. The woman in the car allegedly asked the neighbours to call the police. They said there was another woman in the car. Now, from this, the story kind of doesn't really make sense. It's like, why is there a car? Why are they in Walthamstow? Like, whose house are they outside of? Like, there's so many missing holes to this story. And I saw a lot of comments where people were like, this is not the right story. This is not the full story. This is not making any sense. But I'm just like... <clears throat> I'm just thinking, how do you get yourself into this mess? And the headline then reads, Lady Leisha is stalking her ex. Like, stalking your ex. Babes, let it go. We don't need, we don't need that, okay? Following on from that, an article came out where it said that she's actually been charged with assault. Assault of an ex-girlfriend in Hackney. The rapper Lady Leisha had appeared in court charged with assaulting her ex-girlfriend and the woman's current partner. What are you doing, sis? Like, what are you really doing? Lady Leisha, whose real name is Malisha Ogaro, is accused of attacking Sidney Hussein and Shante Boyea at around 5am on a Saturday. Miss Boyea was driving to work along Not Screen Road, Walthamstow, when two women flagged her down, appearing to ask for help. Miss Boyea, who is said to be the partner of Miss Boyea Aguera's ex-girlfriend, let Aguera get in the car. She realised it was Lady Leisha. She realised who Miss Aguera was when the Queen's Speech rapper began shouting at her. They both eventually got out of the car and began fighting. Aguera allegedly assaulted her, assaulted the left hand of Miss Boyea, who then phoned Miss Hussein, the court heard. When Miss Hussein intervened, the woman who had been with Aguera, 28-old Sherelle Smith, assaulted her prosecutor's claim. Prosecutor said Ogera also assaulted Miss Hussein during the melee, which is said to have occurred after the musician left a club in Hackney Wick. The former Dancing on Nights contestant from Knightshurst, Birmingham, is set to face a jury trial charged with two counts of assault, actual bodily harm in relation to the incident. 
Smith of Birmingham appeared alongside in dock on Monday, charged with one account of the same offence. They both entered not guilty pleas and were released on bail with conditions banning contact with the complainants. Ahead of a further hearing at Snaresbrook Crown Court on November 21st. I'm not gonna lie, how did an assault happen and then they've gone to court so quickly? Can somebody explain that? Or I didn't know the process can be that quick. I was like, whoa, because I hear people are always waiting for trial, waiting for trial, waiting for their court cases. So for this to happen so quickly, I'm like, rah. For you to follow, for you to follow your ex-partner, your ex-partner's girlfriend, whatever the case may be, for you to follow anybody that is in association with your ex, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's ghetto. And I don't even want to even use that word against my people, but it's ghetto. Like, what are you doing? Why are you flagging down your... Why are you getting into somebody else's car on a, on a, on a madness? No, babes. One thing about me is you can say whatever you want about me, but don't try G-check me in my personal space. Neither in my home or any property that I own, you're not G-checking me. It's not going to happen. Sorry. So this is just mad. And I feel like whatever the scenario may be, whatever the verbals may be, it doesn't need to result in fighting fighting where the police is called and fighting to a point where somebody has to go to hospital. Like, why are we fighting? What is there to fight about? Like, what... That like, Someone tell me, what is there to actually fight about? Because this is dumb. And now Lady Leisha's brand could potentially be ruined from this one incident. And by association, this friend can now have... A felony against her name. Like, I'm sorry, but say what you want about me. If you want to go fight in the street, that's on you. But I'm not coming to back you, sorry. I'm 28. Like, what the hell would I be doing? Getting involved in all that. Backing my mate's beef. and It's like, it's, ch it's so childish. That like, that mentality is actually childish. And people actually need to grow up. And people need to be mindful. When you're a social media personality or when you have a public brand where you have to present who you are to the world and people know who you are, your job is on the line at any point. And to do something reckless like this, for what? For what? You could literally lose everything. Everything. Now, if you guys look up Lady Leisha's name, she is pretty much everywhere. She has done nearly, she has done hosting and presenting and she's been invited on nearly, nearly every TV platform that you can think of. Even though she's not doing music, even though her originally being a rapper, she's now a TV personality and she's on nearly every TV network or she has been on every, nearly every TV, TV network and now has gone on to have her own show, Pimp My Ride, and this could potentially ruin your career. If if any of you guys remember Talisa, when the whole saga with Talisa, all that drama and mess that she was in, when she got arrested for beating up or slapping someone, she was just like going through it. And it was, it's just not... Now, I'm not saying that your career is over, but in the height of the mess... Like, you can lose so much. And you know how the UK is and you know how sensitive UK media is when it comes to their brand and how you're meant to be represented when it comes to different brands. So to do something like this... Mm, like, there's no explanation that can make me understand why you would do something like this because me entertain an ex. Me. Me, <laughs> you must be having a laugh. But I want you guys to comment down below and tell me your thoughts. 
that was all for this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the ting. And I'll see you guys in my next video.